Hello, I'm Adam and welcome to this tutorial where we're going to isolate this cute little kitty here and give him a new set of whiskers. And not because there's anything wrong with his whiskers, it's just that uh, in order to totally isolate him we'll have to uh, raise the ones he has but we'll give him some new ones and I hope he'll be happy with those. So the first thing we're going to do is that we're just going to make a copy of our original layer by pressing command J and we'll call that isolated like that like that there you go and uh, we're just gonna hide our original it's just nice to have the original and then we'll click E for our uh, erase tool and an opacity of a hundred you can uh, select the opacity with the numbers on you on numbers on your keyboard 3 for 30 7 for 70 0 for 100 and uh, 4 5 rapidly after each other for 45 0 for this and uh, size is good it's about 30 perfect and uh, let's just erase uh, he does look a little bit worried he shouldn't we'll give him a very nice new fur as soon as possible like that there you go and uh, I'm just gonna go through the basic of the techniques, so um, I'm not, we're not gonna erase the whole kitty kit. Just a part of him, like that. There you go. And uh, then we're just gonna make sure that we don't have any sharp edges from the uh, from the lasso. Looks fine, like that. Then the next thing we're gonna do is that we're gonna select our smudge tool. I've got mine on J. I can't remember if that's the uh, original. Um, and then 80% strength, and then we'll just start painting fur. Now you might think, oh my god, this is going to take forever. And I promise you, it won't take forever. Forever is a big word. I've just got it on 80 now, and this is just for the small short hairs. And then up here, we're just going to bring it up to 90 and make some longer ones on the top of the, of the ear, like that. And the only thing you actually need to, to be aware of are two things the opacity or the strength of your smudge tool and the the overall flow of the existing fur, you pretty much want to try to move in the same direction. Up here, let's get it up to 96 and make some long ones like that. Yeah, that's nice. Something like that. There you go. Maybe make a couple of long ones here as well. Turn it down to 80 again. And yeah, it will take a little bit of time. Not forever. Forever is a long time. What's that movie? Forever is a long time. It's the fox and the hound. Yeah, it's the old owl. Talking with the little fox. He just lost his mother in a hunting. We'll just give him a bit of a mohawk here, I think, yeah. That'd be cool. I'd be happy with that, I hope. Yeah. One of my all-time favorite Disney movies. The Fox and the Hound. Such a beautiful movie. And, um... An, impor an, an, an important story about friendship. Cross-cultural friendship more relevant than ever right and uh, yeah friendship in a in an environment that just doesn't understand it and won't compromise own own values classic story like Romeo and Juliet that people mostly want status quo they don't like change just put this up to 95 and just make a couple of long ones over here as well. And don't worry, that one wasn't very nice. Just undo and you can actually just go way back in your undo history. 
uh, if you want by holding down Alt Command C. I think the guy who invented, or the woman who invented the undo function should be awarded the Nobel Peace Prize. A lot of conflict must have been prevented in the course of human history because of the undo function. Well, back to the Fox and the Hound. Such a beautiful movie with the desaturated colors. Not that full-scale color palette we usually see in modern. I'm sounding like a grumpy old man now. I probably am just a little bit. It's just less hectic uh, than the movies we see today. They, they didn't need to roll their eyes and shout all the time because the foundation was so strong. The character gallery was interesting. The music was just so atmospheric. Um, okay, I won't insult your intelligence by keep doing this. There's kind of a meditative thing about this fur creation thing that you kind of just dislocate your brain and uh, yeah it's kind of therapeutic so whenever you need therapy just go paint some fur now what I'm gonna do is that I'm gonna select my blur tool I've got that on K um, and then just a strength of 20 and then if you want you can just blur the fur blur the fur um, a little um, And there you go. Uh, if we zoom out a bit, you can see that it's beginning to get some new fur. Uh, and uh, let's give him some whiskers. And uh, in order to do that, we'd have to isolate the whole thing and uh, just use the same technique as we uh, talked about. Uh, but we're not going to do that. We're just going to use uh, the working uh, file I have here just gonna delete the existing whiskers and then to create new whiskers select your pen tool path tool and just make a shape just hold down alt to cut it out here and then just something like this I think I'll just move that just a little bit down and then like that let's see how that looks and then another very useful uh, shortcut. Uh, you can select your default colors, black and white with D and then toggle between them. Select white and then Alt Backspace to fill a selection. Alt Backspace and Command D to deselect. And there is a whisker like that. And then I've got my whiskers layer on 50%. This is what it looks like in 100. Just turn it down to 50. Use the numbers uh, with your uh, move, move, movement tool, uh, move tool. Uh, active there you go and then we'll just make some copies of the existing uh, whisker here like that just use the uh, transform tool to scale and rotate like that Let's see how that looks in just a sec if we're happy with those whiskers well the most important thing is that the kitty is happy with them yeah this one might be a bit long just shorten that a bit like that there you go and then we'll just copy these uh, right uh, uh, alt uh, oh, sorry command T uh, for your uh, uh, transform tool and just right click and ship horizontally enter and let's just move them up here and then you can just move them around just a little just to create some little bit of variation from the other side it's not that important is that good? I'll just move them down just a little bit. Like that. There you go. So now we've uh, we we erased around the kitty cat with our erase tool. That's E, uh, and then we uh, drew uh, some new fur, painted some new fur with the smudge tool. Uh, just remember two things: the intensity of the smudge tool and the flow of the hair of the fur. And then we painted new whiskers with our path tool. And that's it. Uh, thanks for watching. Uh, take care and be well.